Hello and welcome to a video I've wanted to do for a while. It's basically a video on if Linux Mint can replace the Windows operating system for your desktop. Now, for me, I broke this down into three uh, categories here. Games, which is basically, you know, playing games. College work, which involves uh, Word, uh, Excel, Java programming, but I won't be going into Java programming today, but I will go into the other two. Um, and content creation, you know, what I do for YouTube, recording things, editing things, uh, stuff like that. So we'll start with games. The first thing I wanted to do was install Steam up here. So uh, in order to do that, I needed something called Play on Linux, and you get that through the Software Center, which is an Ubuntu program. But Linux Mint is Ubuntu-based, so uh, you can install the Software Center. I put this into Google, Ubuntu Software Center Linux Mint, and you click on this uh, first link here, click Install, and uh, it installs up there, no problem. So once I had that, I searched for Play on Linux, and I got it there. And Play on Linux is basically a front end for Wine, which is a Windows compatibility layer, meaning that you can use <coughs> Windows files on Linux, such as uh, executables, uh, EXEs, and MSIs and things like that. And it has a really cool uh, software feature where you can look through a big game of list, uh, a big game of a big list of games, and install games from there. And it's pretty good actually. I haven't tried any of these out because I'm not sure on the licensing uh, issues there, if I need codes or whatnot. So uh, I just used it to install Steam, where I knew I had my own games on there. And um, Steam ran perfectly well. I was able to install Half Life 2. The only problem with this is uh, you can't run it in full screen or it crashes. Um, well, it doesn't crash, it sort of cuts your monitor out. So you have to do set launch options and do hyphen windowed and once you've done that it opens it in a window everything runs fine can't open it right now because of uh, recording issues if I open it then it will cut the mic off so I won't be doing that right now um, as far as gaming is concerned for Steam works fine uh, performance not as great as on Windows because it's not native to Linux I imagine if there were games native uh, to Linux you wouldn't have as many problems and these problems include things like freezing uh, frame rate dropping and uh, juddering, things like that. Um, not all the time, it's pretty stable, pretty good. It's playable, um, pretty good that you can play Windows games on Linux. So, as far as gaming goes, not bad, not great either. <laughs> sort of fully functional. Uh, now, for the next thing, college work. Linux Mint actually comes with its own office uh, suite called LibreOffice, I think that's how you pronounce it and um, you have things like LibreOffice Writer which is Microsoft Word pretty much. It will open docx files as we can see here. The only problem is the formatting might be a little bit messed up like here on the table it's going outside of the margin but uh, it works fine. Um, you can edit docx documents which is pretty handy. Uh, pretty lightweight too, loads up in a matter of seconds for me or nanoseconds I suppose, there you go. Um, also this cool desktop feature which I quite like. It's a bit gimmicky but uh, I like it, it's all wobbly. Um, so as far as working goes, yeah, it's you can do it. Um, you do get formatting issues. I haven't tried out the spreadsheet program yet. Pretty much looks like Excel. I'm sure it would work fine too. So that that covers uh, college work. Now as for content creation, I did go to the Ubuntu Software Center, and I was able to fi uh, find something called oh, I can't remember at the moment. So we'll look at it now up here. Uh, Open Shot Video Editor. Now it's not bad. While it does work, I've had a lot of issues with uh, using OG, uh, OGV files, which is what this screen recording software I'm using right now to make this video uses. Now, when I open it into OpenShot, I get graphical glitches. You can't read text, things like that, and when I save it, it's just as bad. I've tried all sorts of uh, methods to convert it to different formats, but as far as I can see, there's no way around it at the moment. So, on the content creation side of things, it's kind of difficult to do. I think I'll be using Windows for that. Now, that that's pretty much it, I suppose. Uh, side notes, I really like the fact it installed all of my drivers as soon as I installed the operating system. I didn't need to get any uh, third-party drivers, didn't need to do any of that. There was one thing I needed to click, which was up here. Uh, it's not there now, but it's uh, additional drivers, and you can install um, your graphics card drivers from there. It wasn't really much of an issue, just had to click on it, and there was a recommended driver for my card. can't find it right now, though. I'm not sure where it would be, probably under, well, somewhere like that anyway. I think it might be under system settings. <coughs> yeah, so there you are, additional drivers. So you click on that thing, searches for your drivers, and uh, it'll find your graphics card, hopefully. 
or it will do nothing because I've already installed the driver. Oh, there we are. So there's a, rec a recommended one there. I've installed that, and uh, I can play all my games. Now, there are little things with this. Um, like, at, at times when I install software, I've literally had to go downstairs to wait for it to uh, install, and it sort of locks the system up. Not very efficient. Not sure why that is. Could be my problem, or something like that. Uh, another thing that does get on my nerves is if I want to play Minecraft, for instance, down here, uh, if I click on it, then it loads up the archive manager like it's a zip or uh, something like that. So I have to right click on it and go to open with Sun Java 6 runtime which is really annoying. I know you can set a default program but if you notice when I go to show other applications to open it with go down here and there's Sun Java 6 web start but there is no runtime so I can't set that as default so every time I want to play it I have to right click. Just little things like that get on my nerves. Uh, other than that it's pretty good but due to the fact it can't really do all of these perfectly yet, not as perfect as Windows, I wouldn't say it could replace it if you're a power user. If you want to check your emails, write some documents, it's perfect, it's free, um, pretty optimised, uh, quite fast, so you know, why not go for it. Anyway, thanks for watching, if you want to see anything more about Linux please ask in the comments. Um, yeah, just thanks for watching, see you next time.